Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the quick look of the latest build of Windows 10 Redstone 5 build 17704 released yesterday June 27th around 1 15 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern Time. So this has been two weeks since we had a update and it shows because there's a lot of stuff to talk about in here. Install went well perfect no problems no blue screen once again I am uh, quite amazed at how good these builds are, even though um, you know we're still in early builds for this um, Redstone 5. Um, the install process took approximately the same two hours and a half to three hours, which is typical for this machine. Um, and it's very stable. I've been using it since yesterday evening uh, for many hours and I have no glitch at all. Nothing has actually happened uh, bad. I've had actually no issues in here. Okay, let's start. What's new in this build? First of all, you'll notice one thing. The Microsoft Edge icon has a beta on it. I don't know if we can see it here. Let me just uh, maybe pin Edge to the, uh, or just show Edge. So here it doesn't show. Let's, uh, so you see here, it said beta in the uh, Edge browser when we started and the icon does say beta. Why? Well, now there's kind of two versions of Edge. There's this version that we are testing out right now and the non-beta version, which is Edge that we're pretty much always used to seeing. Why did they change this? Because there's a lot of design improvements in here. First of all, if you use tabs, there's kind of a new effect that the active tab and the uh, other tabs that you're not using you have the impression of kind of a, um, a 3D effect of, of, of deepness. So it shows you which tab is being used and you have the impression that it's like pushing the other tabs, uh, you know, in, in the front or in the back. It's, it's kind of an interesting um, improvement here for the tabs. So that's the first thing you'll see. The tab bar in Microsoft Edge, kind of a deep or depth effect slightly. It's not super visible, but I, I, I do have, and I do get the impression when they actually say that. Uh, I have the impression of, a, of deepness. The one I use seems to be kind of, you know, um, and, and the other one are, are kind of in the front or in the back. It, it, it is subtle, but it's there. Also, redesigned menus, and I mean really redesigned. When you go to the menus, things have changed there. There's these new things with new tabs and new stuff at the top. But look at that, you go to settings, and now you have this here, which is kind of a little panel with the general rules, privacy, passwords, advanced. This is kind of interesting, um, really kind of new redesign stuff. Uh, one of the things that's also interesting in here, if you go to the settings and for example, go to show in toolbar, a new list of what do you want to see, what you don't want to see in the toolbar in Microsoft Edge, which is also very, very nice. You can customize the toolbar to your liking if you want. So this is interesting. Now what was missing last time is now there. If you go into your settings into advanced, there's now a media autoplay. So it says control if audio or video play automatically. You have allow, you have limit and you have block. So you can now control, you know, autoplay stuff if you wish. It does say that one of the things that's happening because of that is the fact that you might break some websites that need to have autoplay. You know, sometimes they have autoplay ads and they might break the website because you refuse the autoplay of the ads. PDFs have a redesigned icon. Now, it was visible a few minutes ago. For some reason, it's not. But... Here we could see it. This is what it looks like uh, right now. It's a redesign of the PDF icon when you actually are doing it. Before it looked like a Microsoft Edge icon. Now it's really a PDF icon. Skype got a big update. Apparently much easier to use. Problem is, my Skype crashes. I am unable to go and see it work. It seems to not want to, you know, Log in. Oh, it, it does now. Look at that. Okay, dark. Let's go dark. And uh, let's go next. So apparently things are easier to use in here. 
um, in the uh, stuff. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, little things in here that apparently are um, new. So let's um, new, but I want this and let's skip here. Yeah, that's my picture. Okay, let's go. Okay, all sorts of little things here happening. You see my sound is working. So, you know, uh, really a redesigned thing here that apparently is making it easier for everybody to uh, kind of have it working if you want. So, um, you know, redesign apparently better, easier, easier to find contacts and stuff. I don't use Skype really. So honestly, I'm not gonna be having much different. You have built-in class calling experience, flexible group call canvas. You can take snapshots. Um, you can easily start screen sharing if you want. New layout, everything is kind of different. Uh, improvements in the data di diagnostics. So if you are using the data diagnostics viewer, they've redesigned it to try to make it a little easier to go, go through with different colors for different flags and different things. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. We'll see if it, uh, if it does help, but yes, there is some improvements in the way that it's actually showing the data. So, um, this is going to be interesting and there's different categories that now have been added and, and removed. So, you know, game bar experience, all sorts of things are kind of easier to, to go through and flow through. So, um, hopefully this is going to make it easier for, um, going through all of this and the data diagnostic stuff if you use it remember the data, data diagnostics viewer is actually you know a very very big file so uh, if you don't have a lot of space you might not want to turn it on remember also that the data diagnostics viewer you get it from the uh, Microsoft Store and you have to enable it in the um, settings um, I don't have it because this device does not have that capability, but there's a new setting. If you go into settings, some of you that have maybe a tablet or laptop might see it. In the uh, apps, when you go to apps, there's video playback on the left side. And if you go into the video playback on the left side, some of you will see a new thing that will actually uh, simply say adjust video based on lighting. So by doing this, you will be able to um, have it, you know, kind of work better. If you are outside in the sunshine, for example, I'll make the screen brighter to try to show you the video in a very bright environment. So uh, there's different things. You need to go into the auto brightness stuff and have uh, everything enabled in, in, in order to work. So you might have to go to uh, the device manager. You might have to go to the display settings in order to have all of this shown. Also, now you will have a kind of a better view of the, the way that the artificial intelligence or the AI is working in your computer. If you go into your settings and to devices in typing, you will see something now that is actually called how AI has helped you and it's called typing insights. This is showing you how it's actually auto completed words. If you turn this on, you'll have all of the words that you, you know, it auto completed the suggestions it gave you, the keystrokes you saved, spelling corrections, uh, swipe words. I'll actually enable, because here I've disabled the autocorrect because it drives me nuts, especially when you, you know, you write in French and English, it goes, you're, 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 you just go crazy. Well, I'll enable it temporarily because I want to see this actually show up all the information uh, that it will give me for sure. Uh, if you're a non-admin user, you'll be able to install funds. So that's one new thing that was blocked before. Uh, contextual commanding improvements and text controls. Uh, all sorts of little things like that that are um, being changed in settings. There's some Windows security improvements. So now the Windows Defender um, or the Windows Security Panel show you uh, the current threats and virus and protection threats uh, directly. So you'll have, you know, the possibility to fix anything that's broken kind of almost immediately. You'll be able to block suspicious behavior um, and there's um, a lot of other things in the uh, manage settings. Um, you know, I'm going fast here. I'm not looking at these things very specifically right now in this because it's a quick review, but we will go into more depth 
into this. So stay here on the, or go on the Windows Insider channel. That's where the videos are gonna be for in-depth protection of everything. Uh, when an app it blocks, uh, there's all sorts of new settings with the managed settings, ransomware protection and everything. Kind of cool, um, you know, they're working on that. Uh, device and performance health section, um, they've added the, um, some Windows time assessment apparently. Um, if I look at it here, I don't see where that, oh yeah, Windows time service and you can uh, check that out, no issues. And it um, apparently is a new little thing that they will be checking that out on your PC. Task Manager has new tabs, new things. So if you go to the Task Manager and you go into the uh, tab for processes, and let's put it full screen here, there's two new little things. Power, usage. This will tell you what app is using the most power. For now, for example, moderate use for my OBS 64, which is the screen recorder. And you have power usage um, trends by app. So this will have information, give you the impact. Um, not a bad idea. You know, maybe if you're searching for what's taking so much power, if you're on battery, for example, or, or even, you know, what uses a lot of power and makes your computer maybe a little slower. Ease of access and narrator has some improvements that are making it better. Also with keyboard shortcuts and settings. And um, they made some tweaks to um, actually have the text and um, ease of access bigger and better. So display settings UI will have, um, you know, kind of a better way of viewing things. Uh, so this is going to be, um, this is being tweaked once again. Snipping tool, very important. Of course, you guys know that there's a new sketching tool, a new snipping tool if you want. Screen snip is here. This is the sketching tool. But if you actually use the good old snipping tool that's been part of Windows for a while, there's a little message there. It's going to tell you, just tell you, this might be disappearing from Windows and they are thinking of removing the snipping tool from Windows. That means if you like it, maybe you should have, add on to the feedback hub, let them know that you don't want this to be removed. It's not official yet. They are saying, look, we're not yet removed it, but we might be removing it soon. Uh, there's Windows container improvements for um, server size with Windows image. Uh, the image carries even more components and stuff like that. That's more advanced stuff. Group managed service account rel reliability is uh, also uh, being tweaked. Windows Mixed Reality, if you have an headset, they're introducing quick actions there. Um, there's a new post update experience. So when you actually update to the latest version by doing clean install, you will have some new types of panel showing up with all sorts of privacy things and information. So uh, that's new. Microsoft FundMaker is there. You can actually do the FundMaker app and if you have a pen, you can actually tweak all of this. So that's pretty much very quickly what's in there. I know it's a little fast, but if you want more details, we'll be posting videos in the next few days with uh, much more details on every little thing that I've talked about here. It's a pretty big build with pretty big um, new things in here. So make sure that um, you uh, look on it. And um, apart from that, of course, they fixed tons of things but they also uh, have a lot of bug problems in here that are written known issues. So don't forget, this is possible. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, why not give me what you think of this build? What do you like, what you don't like? And of course, we'll be looking at all the details a little closer. Thanks for watching.